What is this segment about? Talking shit. Okay. Got it? You're good at it. I'm good at this. I think that could just be the intro. What's this segment about? Talking shit. Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've been wanting to have other YouTubers on my channel for ages. This is my good friend Karima. Hello. Not just YouTube good friend, but actual real life good real friend. Real life friends. Real life. IRL I know. and I've wanted to have her on my channel for ages but not necessarily to talk about beauty because we talk about beauty all the time I wanted to kind of show you a good person and let you get to know her a little bit so you might check out her channel and love her as much as I do so we're just going to have a little bit of chats and drink some wine like we usually do this is how we normally hang out and I wanted you to kind of share the experience and have just like a girly chat with us Sounds good to me. All right, All right, so hang on. Now I need you to tell me the story. Okay. Okay, tell me the story. So, we were, my friend Anya is over there, in case you're wondering. Come say hello. Come, Come say hello. Oh, just just like, girl. just. She's going to be my new roommate, right. so you will see her. You will. But she's over there in the corner. So if we are like talking to the corner, we're not ignoring <laughs> you guys. It's just that we're trying to like involve Anya in the conversation as well. But anyway, so yeah, tell Anya, me your story. Anya and I had a couple of drinks the other night and we met, met up with some of Anya's friends. Okay. And one of them, I think it was like their girlfriend and we were talking to her. She's a really, really nice girl. And then she went to the toilet and went to get a drink and she came back and she was a really nice girl. Hey, like she was really fun and vibrant and lovely. And she came back from the bathroom and she was kind of like, you know when somebody's energy yeah. just looks a bit down. Yeah. yeah. And she just walked up to me and was like, I just had the most random experience in the toilet. Okay. I was like, what happened? Some girl walked up to her and was like, oh, hey, I really like your outfit. And she was like, oh, thank you. No, that's kind of like girls yeah. having a few drinks, meeting yeah. your best friends in the toilet kind of thing. She was like, oh, thank you. And she was like, you would look so pretty if you were skinny. And this girl, let me tell you, was very thin. Not that it matters whether you're a larger, curvier girl or a super skinny girl. What time was this? It was only about half past 10. It wasn't like late in the night. It wasn't even like, like the girl was not super... everyone was like, not, like people weren't uncontrolled. No, 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 no. It was only a bar, like a kind of beer garden area. I was literally standing there like, what? Like, I couldn't even believe her because why I just can't... don't know anyone why that can't... would say that. Yeah, I don't understand why we can't just say like, you look amazing. Why does it got to be like, you look thinner, but... Maybe... Or you would look better if. No, like, that's, who... that's, that's not a very nice I message. wouldn't say that to like a I'd probably, dog. <laughs> I'd probably cry. It really, really baffled me. And I was in the shower the other day thinking about it. That sounds a bit weird. <laughs> But you know the way you go off thinking and, and I was just like, I might say this on my YouTube channel because do does everyone not know that that's not okay? Yeah, that's that's not okay. That's just not girl but, power, but, is but, it? But in general, like I feel like if you're going, you look thinner isn't necessarily a compliment. No. You look so, great. You look vibrant. You look glowing. Like these are all compliments. But to me, you look thinner, it's... You would be prettier if you were thinner. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Anyway, I was I just had gotta, to get that gotta, off my chest. We've got to throw that out there. No one is around you. Say baby, I love you. You ain't running game. This is like um what's the word agony ant time? Get things off your chest that you want to share. Yeah. <laughs> Adulting. That's what I want to talk about. Adulting. Adulting is hard. Nobody tells you until how you hard it is until you get there. And then you complain about being in school and my parents won't let me go anywhere. I want to spend my money. Mm. I wish I had somebody to pay for my bills right now and this... feed me and wash my clothes. I saw this amazing meme on Instagram. I saw that. I yeah, saw you saw that one? It's like it's like when you're playing Mario Kart and you think you're winning, <laughs> but you realize that you're looking at the wrong player and really you've just been banging into the wall for oh. like 15 minutes. That's what adulthood is like. That's oh. so true. That to me is what adulthood is like. Anya is moving in with me and my boyfriend Jason, who you know. And we've been apartment hunting and just a lot of adulting. Hence why you might have seen as many videos from me lately because I've just been super stressed. Hence yeah. why my hair is like a little poo on top of my head because no time, too busy adulting. It's 90s, 90, right? Oh, I'm trying. It's 90s, right? I'm trying to look disheveled. No, just no time. <laughs> um, but adulting, honestly, I don't cope well with moving house. I just, it's my hard. brain can't it's handle really it. Hard. Like I didn't even have to move house. Like, I moved into a studio and that's just my makeup and my brushes. And that was stressful. Trigonometry, haven't used that in 10 yeah, years, do I... but nobody taught me how to deal with your landlord, how to set up your gas. 
And you have to sing yeah. it like, Ernie yeah. moved no yeah. way. And she, she doesn't, doesn't give a damn about me. me. You know what else is really hard about adulting? Making friends in adulthood. <sighs> is that hard? Yes. Right? I think yes. it's so hard. Like sometimes so I hard. feel like I come off a bit strong, like I'll meet a girl and I'll be like, hi, friendship. <laughs> and they're like, whoa. It's like when you're younger, you're you're forced to be in school with each other. So it's like, you will bond. Mm. Whereas in adulthood, it's like, do you, do you want to like maybe hang out with me? <laughs> you want to go for a sleepover? Yeah. I find, especially um, like Karima and I do, we work from home. And when oh, I moved to Sydney, I didn't know anyone. I had maybe yeah. like one friend. And then I started working from home. So normally I feel like a lot of adults meet their friends in the workplace and then you maybe make friends through those people. But I was working from home and I only met people kind of through blogging the odd event that I would start going to. That's yeah. how I met Karima and she became one of my first good friends in Sydney. But it's mm. so hard for a while. But when you're an adult, you're kind of like, I don't want to come off too strong. Just yeah. like you said, you That's don't want to come off too strong. No, 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 you don't. But I mean, you don't want to come off too strong. Yeah. You're like, when you meet somebody that you like, just as if you're dating, kind of. It's when like you meet somebody you dating. like, it's yes. like you're dating. But it's so hard. You're so right. Making friends as an adult, you kind of. I wish we had that childishness still in, still in us, where we're kind of in the playground and we're There's like, no you, shame. best My friend. friend. It's like it in the air. Also, when you're a child or even in uni, the holidays span for months, and then you become an adult, and it's like two weeks a year. That's your holiday. It's like, what? <laughs> what about Ooh. my six week holiday? What about summer holidays? And if you go away on holidays, you have to pay for that. Parents yeah. aren't gonna pay for that. That's it. Yeah. Where are my parents? <laughs> Hungry? Cook you yourself something. Just even the small things Cooking. like. Cooking. Cook it. Oh. oh God. Get up, leave right now. It's the end of you and me. Google. It's a great thing. It's a great tool. <laughs> you know what? If you're struggling with the adulting we're talking about, Google. Google. It's our best friend. Google. I have Googled the silliest things. Things, me too. How to... Also YouTube, really oh, good place to learn things. But it really is, good place. It's like the second biggest search engine. Like how to peel a mango. Like sometimes you don't yeah, know these yeah, things. Yeah. How to tie a tie. I was like, Adrian, I just That's I don't one know. of the most viewed videos apparently. Tie, tie. Uh, yeah, it's like 10 million views or like wow. whatever. Yeah. It's wow. one of the biggest searched things. Yeah. And um, just even stuff like, just how to change the battery in your smoke alarm. Like all these things you yeah. don't know. They seem easy, but when you go when, to do it, the smoke alarm just attacks you. It really does though. It does. It that cheeky smoke alarm. That cheeky smoke alarm. But really, if you're struggling with adulting, I think YouTube is one of those really invaluable tools. Really valuable. Yeah. Do you find that? Your adult friends, right? I yeah. find this really funny because yeah. I see this in Jason quite a lot as well. Yeah. Everyone has things that they're good at and things that they just can't grasp when it comes to adulting. Okay. So Jason's really good at cooking. He's like good at like just manly things and whatever. But there's and he can do washing clothes and all that fine. But he just cannot grasp what? that you don't put Michelle's good clothes in with the other clothes. <laughs> I've, I feel like I've taught. five years we've nearly been together and he cannot get it. He doesn't get it. See, you know what? This this really like hit home with me. I used to complain about this, and then recently Adrian was like, "You know, you put in one of my white shirts with your black clothes," and I was like, "Okay, you're a Jason." I'm oh my a Jason. god, Karima, you're I a Jason. Like, I was like, "No, I didn't do that." He's like, "But you did." How was I supposed? To know. Let's talk about introvertedness. Introvertedness. Okay. We have a lot of opinions on this. Okay. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take a deep breath She's going to bang the table now. <laughs> I'm going to take, take, a, a <laughs> take a swig of my wine. I think it's only recently that I've actually understood what introvertedness means. I've been an introvert, I'd say, most of my life. And I've kind of been felt like I've been made to feel as though it's something that I could improve on. Like it's a think, bad thing. Like, like it's, it's a, a bad like, trait. Like it's a failure on my like on my character. Like yeah. it's something that you should really build yourself to be. Yeah. And I think that there are many successful, professional, um, really innovative introverts. It's not bad, it's not a failure. It just means you have a different skill set. You know, like introverts. Mm. One of my favorite sayings ever is, yeah. if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it's going to spend That's its it. life thinking that it's stupid. Yeah. And I feel like introversion and extroversion is the same thing. 
people tell you that the ideal character is outgoing and friendly and wants to be clubbing or partying or whatever it is and if you want the opposite you're made feel like oh you're missing out like what's wrong with you it's okay to be one yeah. or the other or a bit of both or, or a bit of both i just feel like people need to stop thinking that there's one idea of fun one idea of this is how you should be yeah. sometimes i want to sit and watch Game of Thrones with my cat and eat pizza, and I'm having a whale of a time. Yeah. Like, I literally, oh, I, if I was at a rave, that I couldn't be having amazing. one. Can we yeah. do that? But other nights, you're like, I want to go out and have a wine and cheese with the girls. Yeah. Like, you should be allowed to do what you think is fun, whereas I feel like, especially at my age now, that sounds like I'm 40, I'm 27, and at my age, a lot of people are like, oh, you're getting old, wanting to stay in. Do people say that? Yeah, oh, getting old, oh. you don't want to be out. I don't, I don't actually enjoy things like raves and clubs. I much prefer just drinks and chats and food and nibbles Wine. and stuff like that and cheese. um cheese. every now and then i want to cheese. cheese every now and then i want a bit of a boogie but like if i don't want to be in a club every saturday night that means don't feel guilty about it yeah don't feel guilty about it it's people yeah. are telling you oh you're missing out now you're getting old no i just really like game of thrones what you yelling for laid back it's all been, been done, done before but also i feel like there's this massive misconception about what introvertedness is actually about yeah yeah like i feel like people think is it that you're shy or that you're socially awkward it's actually neither of those no it's how you gain your energy so yeah. extroverts are energized by being in large groups of people um you know with really big parties i yeah. guess whereas introverts are energized by kind of their own time and recharge your batteries on your own have some like peaceful time exactly peaceful time by mm. yourself and that's how we recharge but it actually has nothing to do with how awkward you are you but know, it's become the social norm to describe it that way yeah i feel like it's just a massive like misconception, misconception. Yeah. yeah i find i really like seeing my friends and like having a drink with cream and my friends it's, and i have my circle yeah i, I really have my circle love my circle you know? exactly but at the same time if i have let's say it's a regular working week and i have two videos to do and I have meetings and I have to see my manager and I also have to go to a wedding yeah. and I also have just a lot of things on. By the end of the week, I will literally want to spend two four or five days of, yeah. on my own. No, actually, like I won't want to see someone for four or five days, maybe just like my boyfriend and my cat and maybe one friend, yeah. but I will not want to be in a large social situation again for about three or four days at least because I need to recharge my batteries. But it doesn't mean I don't like going out and seeing people. I love people. Yeah. I love people. People are fun. Yeah. I like you. I like you too. I like you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Living in a material That's world. That's plenty. And I am a material. I think I need some more lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> There's just certain jobs that as an adult, I'm never, ever going to want to take out the bins. I can do it. I can hate manage it. it. Hate it. Hate I that just job. refuse. I just don't want to do it. I'll avoid it at all costs. You know what? One of the things about adulting that has really bothered me my inbox, my email inbox, it is a nightmare. I don't even know how to approach it. <laughs> you just, you're right? looking at it out of one eye yeah, and I'm you're like, like, no, no, don't you come near me. Get away, get away. I avoid texting and emailing and calling people back. I don't like it. I'm, I'm better at emailing and texting, but calling? Calling is the worst. When I see like a no-name caller, I'm like, I just refuse. I, just, I don't know about this. <laughs> I am perpetually making deals with myself. So I say, like an incentive. Yeah, I create incentives for myself yeah. like a child. So if I send 10 or 15 emails, then I can watch an amazing video by Jacqueline Hill. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's, That's how people what I study in uni and stuff. It's like, I, if I study I for an hour, I get to go and get pizza or whatever it is. That's yeah. exactly what I did at uni. So that's what I tend to do now. Mm. Like, yeah, I like break up. I don't, I try not to tackle jobs in their biggest form oh, like yeah. i try to break it down to as reply to many. two emails and then you can watch that video because i think this is what i learned about myself procrastination procrastination procrastination, <laughs> procrastination occurs when i'm overwhelmed so if i yeah. can break a big job into tiny parts that might sound kind of silly to anyone mm. reading them, walk to the sink walk <laughs> there put <laughs> dishes in sink <laughs> respond to five emails yeah you know uh even something silly like Record voiceover. Yeah. That's so much easier Not to me. film and edit entire video is one point. Yeah. yeah. Film and edit video. No. Like, write an essay. They say that with Ooh. weight loss as well. They're like, don't say, I like, your goals aren't, I want to lose three stone. It's like, I want to start stone? walking for half an hour a day. Yeah. I want, a stone is like... Um, Seven kilos? Something like that, okay. yeah. 
but breaking things down in general is a good way as if you're struggling with the adulting again breaking it down and rewarding yourself helps yeah. pizza pizza is always a good incentive pizza yeah pizza lipstick youtube you get a mac lipstick if you answer all your emails today you know what i'd be on board with that i girl. think i think it's just a matter of like you're phasing into a different part of life when you're actually you know in control of, <laughs> of your life and your direction and i think that that can be kind of overwhelming yeah I don't want the wheel. Take it back. <laughs> Take Drive it back. for me. Mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think that that's, that's natural and that's normal. Mm. Do you want to just come say quick Come work? say hi. Just like, just, just pop like, up. Come. Poke your head in no, here. No, come on. We're not going to let you go. This Isn't she Ella. beautiful? <laughs> She's so pretty. You're looking at the wrong place in the camera. That's it there. Hey. Yeah, that's Anya. You're going to see more of her soon. Yeah, you're going to see a lot. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up because if not as... Per usual, Kareem and I would sit here talking for about 12 hours. Yep. This is basically our friendship. We sit here, we talk about the life and the things, and we drink wine and eat cheese, and that's it. That's our friendship. So you've basically seen the summary of our friendship here today. I hope you enjoyed this chatty video. Please let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this. And of course, go over and subscribe to Karima. We did a video on her channel today, and it was us testing out extreme Contouring. I think he, everyone could tell based on my face. I <laughs> we should have mentioned this at the beginning. Like, this is why I'm so contoured. I think she looks flawless. Mine, I had to take mine off. <laughs> it was... It. She's exaggerating. She's go over exaggerating. and look at the video. It was like... You go look woo, at the video. Go look at the video. It was too much. It wasn't even on fleek. It was on another planet. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye. Bye. Like survivor, do you like survivor? Not really, no. What? <laughs> okay, maybe I do. <laughs> Everyone does this when they. Yeah, what is that? It's in the video. Surround you, say baby, I love you, you ain't running game. This, I was like in the disco being like, I'm over him, like, get out right now. Yeah. It is the end of you and me. <laughs> It's too late. I can't wait for you to be gone. Bring it in the air. Sierra, this beat is the magic super sun. with words. I just don't learn the words of like blah 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 blah. A dirk a dirk a dirk dirk a dirk a dirk a dirk. Day four in the yard. Still no man. Milkshake has gone sour. You like to kind of shady and calling me baby. The club is full of balls. Woo! Say my name, say my name When no one is around you Say baby I love you If you ain't running game I always used to try to do that the, the, uh, What is it? I don't know Listen ah, it's like, I've never noticed that before yeah. I felt fierce I felt alive <laughs> And I felt 12 Strong independent 12 year old woman no man, no mama, no daddy look after me. I look after myself. <laughs> That's a good tune, the original, anyway. Do you think that it goes somewhere? It just kind of looks like it's a hip hop bar, isn't it? Ooh. Why you got to make things oh, so complicated? Oh, yes. I thought I was her for a solid year. I was like, I. I Right now, it's the end of you and me. My fire. You look so on fleek, bitch. Look at that all on your arms. My hair looks like a shit, and I don't even care. Because it's a casual video. Casual. Dude, look at my hair. It's casual. <laughs>
to look at me stupid um i'm ready to sing yes kieran maluli rte news morning guard <laughs>